Alright, uh, just gonna be a quick... Um, might be, it depends on how much combat we actually get into. Uh, I just want to go into the dungeon, there's a couple of things I just want to show off. For those who haven't seen it yet, I'm sure people have already found it. Let's get into the maze. Uh, if we go to camp, you see at the top right side it says we have the silver key. There's one more key that we need to get. It's uh, the bronze key, I believe. And to get that, we need to get out of the screen. There we go. Oops. I keep forgetting you can't just walk through closed doors. Alright, this is a secret wall. In fact, let me uh, cast Lomilwan. So you can see it's shifting, moving nature. Hey, that's not what I wanted. Got some bubbly slimes. And look like they surprised us. Not that it mattered, they didn't get through my armor. Yeah, I still couldn't get through my armor. Not surprised. Alright. Go down this long corridor, but it's one of those secrets. Teleport you. And we need to go to this chamber here. Within the room is the statuette of a strange beast, the body of a chicken, and the head of a cat. The statue is made of bronze and lies on an onyx pedestal. There are unusual runes on a plaque thereon. So let's search. Party found a key, a bronze key. So now if we go to camp, it shows we have silver key and bronze key. And I'm glad they did it that way. It used to be that it would be into a party inventory. And... We only can carry eight items. And right now, say the, the first character, this fighter, he's already using four of those spaces for equipment. with two more empty spots for equipment. After that, he only has two more equipment spots. So equipment, y your spots run out quick. So it's good that they set it off to one side. Now for the next fun thing. You see a large statue of a hooded humanoid. There is a golden light coming from a hole in the hood. The statue is bejeweled with precious and semi-precious stones. In front of the statue is an altar from which incense is burning. So we want to search the room and we find, well it says ethereal entity, but it is in fact Murphy's ghost. Now he does have some hit points. He also regenerates one hit point per round somewhat resilient to magic. I mean, you can cast, we'll say, Badios and do 8 points damage, and then next time, you resist. Couldn't do nothing for the rest of the round, you know, any other rounds after that. Just saying, I mean, I'm not going to use magic here, because I think we can fight it out. In fact, looks like we surprised him too. But we missed all rounds. Missed, 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 and he misses. And again, he's gaining one hit point off for missing. Okay. 
Come on now, we gotta do damage here. We might have to fix this. Oh, and we just got hit for two. Alright. So let's see what we can do. Maybe... That's for the caster. Do this for our armor class and let's see. Do that, maybe we can reduce his armor class. Oh, we hit him for seven. Okay, now he's got a armor class penalty. So we hit it for seven, but he just recovered one. We still can't. There we go. We did eleven that time. Nineteen. Nine. We got hit for two back. And we took it out. That was kind of... I mean, it's not a difficult fight, but... There is... We got 40 gold out of it. There is quite a lot involved with that. Now... Let's see, I want to go... Oh, we got to level up there, looks like. I'm going to recast that spell. Show you how my map looks on this first floor. It's also useful to see where the... how to get out of this, too. Oops. Don't think I'll ever get used to that. Darkness. Hey, I told you to turn. Okay, before we go back up, we definitely need to inspect or uh, heal up. You're fine. You're fine. And you're fine. Go to the end. Got a lot to go there. Okay, new arcane. Gained a spell slot. And learned a new spell, Katino. Plus, we've got two points. So, where would we like for those to go? Let's go with agility. That looks like it's lacking. That's put both in agility. We'll worry about luck next time. Got a ways to go there. Long ways to go there. Whoops. A little bit there, and somewhat there too. Alrighty. Let's head back into the maze. <coughs> Because there's one more area I want to show off. Let's see. Left control. It brings that up back up the map again.
Four skeletons. Undead kobolds. Yeah. <clears throat> Two left. And for the most part, we're able to block just about everything. And dead. In here, you go one to the right, then up, and just continue going up. Whoops, whoops. If you turn, you have to see where this wheel is at. And you don't see it on any of the other sides. Your lower left corner it shows use elevator, the space bar. If you turn any other direction, it's not there. So you gotta go to the wheel. Use elevator, let's go to the second floor. This is pretty much just kind of a training to the second floor. There is, you know, obviously your elevator room. Say one by two with doors off to the left. With a one by one and a one by one. Usually we get into combat. I'd, it's strange. So let's go back to floor one. Try this again to get some combat. But the monsters get a little bit more harder than it is on the first floor. And that's why I like going to this elevator room for a little bit of practice. Still nothing. Wow. There we go. Two priests. Usually they're level one priests. So obviously there won't be any chest either. Um, we might want to silence them. Perry, let's go ahead and put them to sleep if that's possible. We probably will kill them too before any of that comes around. Silenced and killed. Silenced, slept, and then killed. So, nice experience. Nice gold. But I was hoping for a chest. Because you got a good chance of getting good items. Something you couldn't find in the... in town or on the first floor. I don't think in the first floor you'll find magical items. It might be, but four masked men. This could be, oh, we surprised them. Level one ninjas. Yeah, so. That's for the caster. Try that on them, and yeah, we've got two points, so we'll go ahead and uh, the ninjas, they have a chance to decapitate, so let's try not to have that happen. Okay, good. Yeah, ninjas are not fun to play with. And a chest. Trapless. Do we believe that? Trapless. Oh, yeah, I guess we can believe that. I don't know, that's 23 gold each. No items. Oof. Leather clad men are probably ninjas. Nope, just rogues. So let's see. Let's go ahead and attack the rogues. Try to sleep the rogues. 
let's try to silence the priests. You can parry. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and because we don't like the priests, they can do some damage if they give it a chance. So let's go ahead and Mahalito the priests. Rid of them, and yeah, should be a good fight. Only our priest took damage. Looks like good experience off from that crossbow bolt. Good gold out of it, no items. Alright, well. It's really what I wanted to show off here. Let's get back to town. go to town though we do need to heal you couldn't get me that last point could you thank you 52 39 37 all right everybody else is good <clears throat> so that was pretty much what I really wanted to show show off Hope you all have a good one. Wasn't too long, I guess, of a video this time. Have a better one.